Let's see how much 18 inches really does work in a small space. Take a look. You won't believe it, but there is so much seating room in this small little space now. First of all, one of the things you're going to notice that really anchors this room is this great big island. This is made up by two, four, six, eight ottomans. That's right. These can all break apart, and there could be a trough down the center, or they can all be pushed together. We think this looks terrific. What we did was we simply took the one style, and various leather combinations were assigned to each one, and then all mixed up. So there's two of each one of these things that also match what we've done in the dining room. Like, ooh, that's a surprise. Now, we've used this here as a coffee table, but when you sit down here, you can do this. Very comfortable and very practical. And oh yes, under here, look at all this storage. Isn't that great? We have these bins and we have baskets and we have CDs. Everything is placed under here. It's nice and orderly. This banquette really has done the trick. And you can probably get two, four, six to seven comfortably here. Everybody can put their feet up. Remember the human form, 18 inch rule. That's all you need to comfortably get around here. Now, what about focal points? Well, remember, we've got a fireplace here and we've got a view there. And even though by sitting here, you can see the view reflected in the mirroring, which looks so great now, these also pivot. I love pivot chairs. This pivots all the way around like so, so you can see the fireplace. And I got my view. And two people can sit facing each other here, or this can turn all the way around and somebody could catch the action that's happening outside on the patio. Pretty cool, huh? So there's seating for two more. So that's eight, nine, that's 10 people now. And what about our sofa? Well, the sofa didn't quite work, but the back of the settee did. That's our cross-linking uh, device. Here you see it here. I can sit down here and I still see that beautiful view because the back has been taken off of this, okay? And you can sit on either side of this if you want to. So with the patio doors open, people can be talking here to somebody sitting that way, or somebody can be sitting here at the same time talking to these people here. So the flow is sensational. Now what about the TV? Right, it's up on the wall. Hello. And by looking in the mirror, I can see the TV there. By sitting here, I see the TV directly. So there isn't a bad seat in the house. So now, with proper furniture placement, everything begins to work. Now what about those surfaces? Well, this is a surface. This that we've built in now is a surface. There's the, its companion surface over there. There's another surface in the corner. And there's two tables here and here. Isn't that great? So in a space like this, where it looked like the best you could get was probably seating for maybe four people comfortably, we've got seating for two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. Who knew? All in a space like this. That's where furniture placement really, really pays off. Dual function ottomans, pivoting chairs, backless settees that still frame the view, all works together to really maximize every single inch of your home. Yeah.